Welcome back to Off-Road Addiction TV. I'm your host Caleb Thompson and we are here deep in the Malaysian jungle for the Borneo Safari 2023. It begs the question though, what is the Borneo Safari? We're going to find out and let you guys know why you should come out and check out this absolutely stunning event in the most pristine jungle with the most beautiful rivers ever. We're going to let you know why you need to come because you do need to put this on your bucket list. In Sabah, Malaysia, the Borneo Safari is the region's biggest and longest running extreme off-roading event. This year there were over 1,500 participants and 525 vehicles registered for the event. The first day started off with an opening ceremony at Kota Kinabalu where all competitors got flagged through the start line of the competition. Participants can choose to compete in the competition category or the expedition category. The expedition category sets off in groups of 20 and work together to help each other complete the route, which takes them through the mountains and valleys across streams and rivers. In the competition category, these teams not only compete a similar route to the expedition category, but also complete various special stages along the way in order to earn points. There were two special stages set for the day that were both short loops with some good speed sections and some spots with a lot of mud and water to really test the competitors. With the second day of special stages done, it was time to make our way into the jungle. We spent our second night at a small campsite we found just before the entrance to the Hardcore Jungle Trail. This is the part we enjoy the most, exploring the beautiful rainforest and all it has to offer. Day one in the jungle is already proving to be a challenge as the hours go by and only mere kilometres have been covered. With a steep drop off to one side and over 500 vehicles to come through, 
We had to be smart about how we got through this particular section to make sure we didn't deteriorate the right side of the track and make it impassable for the masses of vehicles still to come through. So I started collecting bees. Now these are local to Malaysia. These are called like a sweat bee or a stingless bee. They don't sting you. They're really annoying because they tickle you. They just land all over you. Um, they actually make sour honey. It's like a black honey that you can buy. Apparently it's very, very nice, but it is quite expensive. But um, obviously I make good honey because they're all about it. So we have entered Route 66. We've got 66 kilometers of hardcore wheeling. We're about one kilometer in. This is the first car. Uh, we've got a bunch of cars to come through still. Mix of God winches, electric winches, IFS solid axle. We have one vehicle down with a blown front pinion already. Uh, thankfully, he's quite well set up he's got a god winch and an electric winch so he can still drag himself through a two-wheel drive uh, we might have to look to pull the drive shaft out to reduce further damage uh, later on but for the moment we're just pushing through it's uh, four o'clock in the afternoon it's gonna be a long day got about another 30 kilometers to go till we get to the campsite looking forward to it by the time we'd moved all the vehicles up through this difficult section it was starting to get dark and we were forced to set up camp in the middle of the track. When driving through terrain like this, it is too dangerous to drive at night, especially with one truck only having two wheel drive. This is all part of the adventure, taking on whatever the jungle throws at you and making the best of it. So as you can see behind me, another slight obstacle. We have just left camp. Good set up last night. Uh, we thought it was gonna rain. It was quite a bit of thunder and lightning and stuff. It didn't rain. A Couple of drips here and there, which is good because this would have made everything back here very interesting. Uh, rolling out ahead of the competitors. They're coming through behind us. So we're gonna get to the next SS stage get set up and uh, wait for the action. It's gonna be a good day. Another cracking hot, beautiful day here in Sabah, Malaysia. A good mix. Yes. Of winches. Got a God winch sitting in here and Alvin's truck. Quite a few God winches in the mix. Always good. So what may look like much of an uh, obstacle here in the corner, the issue is this part here. I love the little spot that you don't want to go down. Some of the extra big one up next. Here, everything's getting hooked up on the winch. Uh, as soon as the wheel starts to spin, it goes on the winch. With the sheer amount of vehicles we've got to get through here, track degradation is a massive thing and it's a priority here. So, as soon as you start spinning your wheels, you stop, pull some cable out, and uh, yeah, try and not chew it up for everyone else. Otherwise, it just makes it way, way, way harder than it needs to be. 
Stop again. Why? My car is too weak. No, no, no. <laughs> you need more gas pedal. Yeah. More kakai, kakai. Beer. Breakfast. Need more beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Day four saw us getting stuck straight back into more complex obstacles not far from camp. There was some seriously deep, sticky mud to get through, so smart winching was crucial to make sure we could get everyone through with ease. get to where the SS stages are and then we've got to set up camp and wait for the competitors to arrive and then we'll be into some more action it's quite good so the way this works at Borneo Safari is there was a little bit of tarmac driving to get to the jungle but now we're in the jungle there's no way out we're stuck in the jungle for 66 kilometers which is why they're calling it route 66 and uh, so it's, it's full-on like expedition I suppose you would call it and uh, we're all just in here doing work, doing what we love to do. It's pretty good. Good bunch of people around us. And, uh, yeah, playing in some sticky mud. Smile, huh? Yay, yeah, good. Now he's happy. <laughs> If the deep sticky mud wasn't enough, there was also a rather difficult downhill descent and uphill climb which ended up stretching into the dark, meaning we had to camp earlier than expected before the official campsite. This meant we missed out on seeing the competition cars do some more special stages, but that didn't take away from the fun and adventure we were already having just battling through the trail. The sun is cranking, it's nice and warm and we are here with this absolutely crystal clear, stunning little river. I've been in here, this is the fifth day deep in the jungle and it is just an amazing experience. We have the best chefs you've ever come across. We've been eating uh, beef belly bacon for breakfast, spaghetti bolognese for dinner. Uh, this morning we had beautiful handmade curry sausages and eggs. We've been eating like kings out here. Amazing people, the scenery is just absolutely phenomenal. I love being deep in the jungle and I severely miss being out here with our friends. You know, these are our off-road family. Every time we travel, the family grows and it's just so amazing. The wheeling yesterday was pretty hardcore, exactly what we came here for, what we live for. 
and these guys are pushing their rigs to the limit. Now these aren't the competition vehicles we're with. This is our own media convoy and we've just been separated from the pack trying to get through to meet up with the rest of them. These rigs all on 36 inch tires or 37s, 38s, whatever, big lifts. The course that we went on yesterday to get to our campsite was just hard work, winching uphill, very, very steep downhills, steep climbs, all kinds of stuff. And it was just a wicked experience in these sort of road going vehicles to be pushing them to the limits in that kind of terrain. Anyways, enough of my rambling about how stunning Saba is. We're going to get back to the wheeling. You guys sit tight and get into the action and we'll see you in a minute. After spending some time cooling off in the river, it was time to continue on through the harsh terrain. It wouldn't be long before we were out the other side. By the end of the day, we had come across a section of track where there was two options, either repairing and driving over a broken bridge made of logs, or driving through a very deep sloppy ditch below it. The team made the call that it was too late in the day to get everyone through this obstacle, so we set up camp for the night. The next day, it was decided that we would winch everyone through the mud rather than repairing the bridge. Using winches makes it much more controlled and ensures the track doesn't get deeper or more damaged for the rest of the team still to go through. Once we were through, there was only a couple more tough spots to get through before we successfully made it to the end of Route 66 and what an adventure it was. Once we were out, we spent the night at a slightly more luxurious campsite with the final round of special stages planned for the next day. After a very good time in the jungle, we've come out, sort of somewhat back to civilization, staying at a bit of a resort. The life lesson is no matter how good you think you are, don't eat the chicken feet. So I'm currently hooked up to a drip, dehydrated and uh, not quite feeling myself. Unfortunately, missing out on some filming on the SS stages today, which I'm a little bit gutted about, but um, I hope you've enjoyed enough of this content that it doesn't matter, because we have had an absolute blast here. It's been so good. We have made it to the end of the 2023 Borneo Safari. We are back here in Kota Kinabalu at the Haka Hall for the closing dinner, and what an absolutely amazing trip it has been. Unfortunately, we didn't get a huge amount of time with these comp rigs behind us, but we had the most epic adventure with our own team, with the media team, going through some pretty hardcore wheeling, especially considering most of the rigs are road-going 80 series. We had a Troopy, we had a new Hilux, 
a lot of god winches tucked underneath you would never expect definitely some of the coolest if not the hardest wheeling we have done on this side of the world and it's just been an amazing journey so a massive massive thank you to borneo safari organizing committee for having us over here absolutely honored to represent new zealand and come to a massive international event like this and get to do what we do now it's time for us to wrap up this trip and head back home we cannot wait to come back again to the borneo safari welcome back to off-road addiction what the f are my hands doing today <laughs> welcome to off-road addiction tv i'm once again i'm once again no just I'm say i'm sure caleb like i was caleb most of the time just and say. we are here deep and this is borneo yes, safari boss. <laughs> hard boss huh same yeah yeah very tall oh. high man <laughs> Back, 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 back